Once again, it's raining out. I want to see what I can do in a few minutes. I'm going to cut that bolt off. Cut these rotted clamps off. And I mean rotted. That was a workout. Look at all the freaking rust. There's the main bolt. There is tons and tons of rust and dirt. Uh, amazingly enough, 80 year old crown bolts. And they come right off. Um, something I never knew is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight or nine springs, I can't see right now. <laughs> and a Model T rear spring. And, nice enough, none of them are broken. 
little crusty, but you know, that stuff sandblasts off. The sheet metal that it all sits into, it's a little banged up, but you know, it's pretty good shape. That's enough. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight springs. And that that dang bolt still don't want to come out in the last one. Um, I see a heck of a job to clamp them together. I'm sure the main bolt to all those little holes does it. But they should clean up nice. This stuff's riveted on two clamps on either side of the third spring down, fourth spring. Keeps them all together in the end so they don't turn. Well, I'm back at it. I'm going to go food shopping with the wife. I'm back in here and uh, I can get these arms off. And I'll be damned. Crown nuts. 80 year old real steel. Right off. This one's already off. And it's right here. Wire brush a little, but um, be safe. They should be new or bored out and bushed or something. We'll see what Dad can do with them. Dirt is incredible that came out of here. Mostly rust. But imagine where some of that dirt came from. Could have been anywhere. I'm coming, kids. Oh, yeah. I heard you. No kidding. Okay. Now put this device right before you get the bushing from the bushing. It's kind of embedded inside. Spring. Just rock coming out. Try three. You get it to move. Yeah, right. Well, this one needed a little help. After a little oil and beating, it's out. Look at that goop. Kind of offset, probably. It's where. Uh, holds a little oblong, of course. Let's we'll see what we can do for bushings or something. Go in there, get some new pins. I laid them out. And using a little oxide flapper just to get the heavy stuff off. Uh, bushings aren't bad in springs, actually. 